the owner of Joy and Space, a decluttering and home organization company. As a certified Kamari consultant, I help my clients to tidy or declutter and organize their home using the Kanmari method. So the Kanmari method is very different from other tidying systems and organizational systems out there. First off, you tidy by category rather than by room. And most importantly, instead of the focus of minimalism, which is to get down to the smallest number of things, in the Kanmari method, you're keeping those items in your life with spark joy, the things that you love and that speak to your heart, not necessarily just trying to get down to a smaller number of items. Um, by focusing on what you really love and what speaks to you, you really change your relationship to things. I also think that one of the best ways to summarize this method comes from Marie Kondo herself. And so I'm going to read a quote um, that she wrote. Oh, I'm going to... Well, you get it. All right. Cleaning the temple is part of Buddhist training, but tidying the temple is not. With cleaning, we can let our minds empty while we keep our hands moving. But tidying requires us to think. We have to think about what to discard, what to keep, and where to put it. You could say that tidying orders the mind while cleaning purifies it. And I, I really love that concept from her, the idea that as we're tidying, we're really thinking about what we value and we're bringing some order into our life. So this is my YouTube channel. I'm hoping to keep posting some videos here about my work in uh, with clients, helping them to bring some order and tidying their lives. And um, hopefully I'll be posting a folding video soon and some other things. So please keep checking it out. Also, coming up real soon at Women Wine and Shoes, I will have some um, gifts in the gift bag or swag bag. So one of them is this bookmark, which I'm very proud of because I, I made it myself. Um, so hopefully you can see it okay. And um, on the back of it, it has some tidying tips. So I'm going to read the tidying tips to you real quick. So first thing is you want to tidy in order. The first step is clothes, then books, paper, kimono, and then sentimental items is your fifth and final step. So you want to save those things like your photos and maybe even your journals for your last step, your last category in the tidying process. Some other tips, you want to make sure that you touch each item and notice if you feel joy when you're holding it. Only keep those things which speak to your heart. And if it doesn't spark joy, thank it. Like Literally hold on to it and say thank you and let it go. And most importantly, only tidy your own things. Don't tidy other people's things in your, you know, in your family, in your home. Only tidy your items. So thank you, and I hope that you will check out joyandspace.com, as well as we have a Facebook page, and you can also email me as well if you have any questions. My email address is ybeam, y-b-e-a-m, at aol.com. Thank you. Bye.